Chocolate Lover. Welcome to Chocolate TV, episode 262. Yes, marching on towards another number. Uh, today I thought we try a white chocolate. This is chocolate. Uh, it's chocolate made in uh, Spain. And this is uh, cane sugar, milk powder, cocoa mass, uh, uh, rosé, pepper and lemon. So this is a flavoured white chocolate, so uh, cocoa mass, but the cocoa mass should be a lot of cocoa. It doesn't say any, hmm, sorry about that. It says 30% cocoa minimum, but where's the cocoa butter? It doesn't say cocoa butter, it said cocoa mass, but can't believe that because I think mass should be the actual brown stuff and butter is the white stuff and this is certainly the white stuff rosé pepper uh, or cayenne pepper if you choose that word uh, and lemon in a white chocolate white chocolate you usually know you know that kind of waxy very sweet vanilla uh, drenched kind of couverture uh, this, well, what, what color is this? Kind of beige, almost khaki, like the pants. A little bit more yellow than my pants. But. <laughs> okay, uh, let's break it off a piece. Oh, good crack. Let's smell it. Oh, yes. Mm, pepper. Cayenne pepper, rosé pepper, red pepper, and a hint of lemon as well. Oh, that dry smell of pepper is kind of strong. Actually, you can't feel the usual uh, flavor of, of, of the white chocolate with all the vanilla and the sugar and the kind of honey waxy kind of tone. Hmm? Let's try it. Sweet. First off. First off, sweetness, the, the fatty texture of, of the cocoa butter, the lemon coming in from the right, and the pepper rising from the bottom. Neither flavor overpowering. Not disturbing the white chocolate either. Melts away quickly. No residue on the tongue, which is often if you mix in different flavors or stuff or spices or things in the chocolate, you always got some residue in your tongue. But not this one. Uh, the back end, uh, the lemon is gone, uh, but the pepper is there. And it intensifies a little bit. That's the remaining flavor. That's uh, this rosé pepper. The cayenne pepper. The red pepper. But not chili pepper. There's distinctions between peppers, aren't there? Well, it, on my palate anyway. So, as a chocolate, I don't know. It didn't taste bad, but it taste heavenly so I'll give this actually a 5 out of 10 5 out of 10 that's a big big number for a cocoa butter white chocolate product at least for me so chocolate from Spain 30% uh, cocoa mass and then sugar and lemon and cayenne pepper well 5 out of 10 not bad and that's it for episode 262 and I'll be back next week uh, usually Mondays but yesterday I was in another town having dinner and collecting wine so 
yeah, uh, I see you next week.